Uh, without further ado, I will introduce the first panel of the morning, which will be dedicated to studying the recently, well, the recent measures introduced by or considered by the European Medicines Agency. Um, a few words, perhaps, just uh, as a background. As it directly impacts human health, the pharmaceutical sector has been the most exposed to scandals coming from corporate control of the science underlying legislation. Um, one of the responses to this problem has been to try to reinforce the reliability of the risk assessment process by aligning it more on the normal scientific methodology that is simply enable peer review by publishing the data used to reach a conclusion, in this case, clinical trials. This approach was initiated uh, in the late 2008-9 by the European Medicine Ag Agency, but was fought uh, very vigorously uh, immediately by the pharmaceutical industry, notably with a lawsuit brought by two companies, AbbVie and Intermune, against the agency at the European Court of Justice. As a matter of fact, both companies argued that the disclosure of the data they filed with EMI for market approval would reveal commercial confidential information, CTI, an acronym you're going to hear again this morning. After the two cases were settled out of court, it appears that EMA has accepted, has accepted a certain level of redactions, uh, contradicting its initial intention and attracting criticism from transparency and public health campaigners for this supposed U-turn. Where are we now? Uh, our first speaker will be Noël Voitillon, who is the policy advisor at the European Medicines Agency. Noël, you will have 15 minutes to present the agency's plans for implementing its policy and clinical trials disclosure. Uh, then we will give the word directly to Sheila Lane from the UK group Sense About Science, who will have also uh, 10 minutes for um, a brief comment. I hope Mr. Brandon Barnes, uh, uh, who was meant to join us this morning representing the pharmaceutical industry, but who was not very well can actually join us, yes? Oh, yeah. Mr. Barnes, you're very welcome to take part on, on the panel already if you, if you wish, though. Uh, and so you will speak after Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Lane. And then, uh, Mr. Oregon, you're working with the uh, European Investment Office, and you will also have 10 minutes uh, to comment on um, what Mr. M uh, Wethion has said. And then we will take five, 10 minutes uh, to, for clarification and questions. <coughs> 